For months, Democrats in Congress have stonewalled realistic energy solutions to help bring down energy costs. Yesterday, presidential hopeful Senator Barack Obama showcased just how deflated the Democrats' energy policy really is. At an event in Missouri, Obama told voters to make sure their tires would be properly inflated because they could save all the oil that we're talking about getting from drilling if everybody was just inflating their tires. This is what a viable Democrat presidential candidate is discussing as substantive energy policy. Gas averages today are over $4 a gallon across America, and Americans are struggling to fill their cars, to buy the food they need to have for their families, and pay their bills, as well as buy school clothes for their kids this fall. I'm absolutely outraged that this is what a potential Democrat president is offering to the American people. Now, if you remember, in the energy crisis of the 1970s, President Jimmy Carter advised Americans to just put on a sweater. Senator Barack Obama's energy strategy is just more of the same old, same old. Now, in contrast, Republicans have an all-of-the-above strategy. What we want to do is promote and advance realistic energy solutions, like increasing domestic energy supplies and production and investment in alternative sources of energy and technologies so America can become American energy dependent and create very high paying American jobs in the process. The contrast could not be clearer. I'm Michelle Bachman. Thanks for listening.